Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. Today we are playing Intelligent Design, uh, which was left as a link on one of my videos. So I'm assuming it's a request, so we're going to play it by request. And I guess we're going to start in cubicle 284. Um, and we're, we're going to get going. I've, I've clicked new game, so now we're just... Uh, we're just waiting. Congratulations on your appointment as an extraterrestrial ecosystem engineer. Uh -huh. We have a long history of sector leading technology and world transforming solutions and are committed to maintaining this position. A key ingredient to this success is a valued and enthusiastic workforce, which you are now a part of. Uh huh. Right. Um, I, I understand the, uh, the reason why you might uh, choose to have the text-to-speech thing do this for you, but honestly, you're probably better off getting a voice actor. Like, honestly. Um, because while it is, it's fine, it just... It doesn't come off as robotic. It actually comes off as, like, I couldn't be bothered, you know? like. All the voice, all the, vo all the all the voices in Portal, for instance, are computers, but they are also um, um, they are also uh, voiced by someone. All right? Why are we why are we going up? Okay, let's go next. You have been given the responsibility to cultivate and maintain a healthy ecosystem for a highly valued client on PG19840 to enable you to achieve the high standards we expect. Performance targets will be set during your induction uh -huh. process. This will be organized in good time. Okay. We have found that leveling mechanics improve performance by up to 78.2%. For this reason, we will be monitoring three levels for each employee. These levels are increased by how many creatures are born in your area of responsibility, AOR. Right. So we're going to have to make plants, herbivores, and carnivores. I guess that makes sense. That's fine. Um, right. Um, right, next, the terminal let's keep going. you are currently sitting at has an established connection to remote cultivating budget RCQ on PG19840. See, this voice is just off-putting, seriously. VDU. In your role, please submit a VDU risk assessment within the first month of your appointment. We okay. pride ourselves on being an equal blah, blah, opportunities blah, blah. employer. In this respect, the we right have analog the right analog the options keys to control down. the RCQ, to move the camera of the RCQ, use the right analog stick, cursor keys, or hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse. Okay, so we can use WASD as well. Horizontally, use the left analog stick or WAS key, and vertically using the left and right triggers or left shift and left control. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. RCQ has a ceiling height of 1,000 meters. Control before you reach this height, yeah. Heads up display HUG allows you to easily access all the tools you need to achieve success in your new post. Uh -huh. Simply use the D-pad to navigate the HUG and the A button to select an option, or use the mouse. Right. Using the RCQ you can request resources at the location of the central cursor. Due to technological limitations, which our brightest minds are working hard to solve, we can only teleport resources within 200 meters of the radar tower. The cursor will turn red when it points to the location out of this range. Right. Yep. In Still the going. In menu, you can request random species of plants, herbivores, and carnivores. These are genetically engineered and grown in it. Yeah, Using great. the latest technology great. and Come on. sequencing oh my gosh. and machine supercomputers, the RCQ can determine to yeah. assist you in investigating the function of genes. A force field can be enabled around each radar. Boy, constructing okay. buildings blah, in blah, ACO blah. Oh my God. significant How many things are there? To balance this, we require EAS. As a qualified EEU, we have confidence you will have a positive impact in your OR on PG19840. Right, right. Take some time to adjust your EDU. Familiarize yourself with the HUD and operation of the RCQ to request resources from the ACOS. We will contact you in due course to arrange your induction. So, I just built a collector. Wow. 
Why did it turn the sky black? What is it collecting? Right. Eh, not a fan of the controls, I guess. Not a fan. But you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um... Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so we're just waiting for this to tick up, I guess. So we just made a random plant appear over there. So that's a plant. Whatever this is going to be, it's going to be some sort of plant. Okay, so that, that did nothing. Are those seeds? Are those like plant seeds? I, don't, I have no idea. Let's... We'll make some random herbivores up here as well. Yes! Look at those growing or what? Okay. Uh, are those herbivores? Nope, they're gone. Okay. Okay. So we made a collector. What else do we need? Man, I have no idea. Um, oh, we have four plants. Oh, no. Okay, make some plants there. More plants, please. So... Oh, there's some more plants. Oh, we have nine plants. Those are different plants. Apparently we have five herbivores, even though there aren't any. Even though I can't see them. Out of range, build more radars. Right. Okay. I'm definitely paying attention. Out of range. Okay, so we can only build it here. So let's build some random herbivores. Uh-huh. Because apparently this is building stuff. Like, now there are ten herbivores. But I... I can't see them. Like, what, did they die? Did all the herbivores die? Looks like I've got more plants now. Fourteen plants. So these are becoming plants, I guess. So at least that's working. Right. Oh, so those, those little things are actually things that eat plants. Okay. Okay. That, sure. Yep, that makes sense. And here comes some new herbivores. Ooh, what are those? Those are herbivores, I guess. And they're going to eat some plants. Oh, no, they're just going to roll around because they actually have no bodies. They're just... Roll it around. So those are herbivores. Right? Right? I mean, uh, it's kind of cool. Let's let's make some random carnivores then. They can go eat the herbivores. Um, num, 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 num. Right, so these things. Okay. Position. Oh, there's... Right. So those are carnivores, and I guess they're going to go and eat those herbivores who are just spinning around in circles. Because apparently that is something that we do. Oh, let's build a... Can we build it? Oh, we can't build another collector yet. We can't afford it. Alright, let's build some more random plants. Plants, please! More plants. Oh, they didn't take. Or maybe they did and I just can't see them. I mean, that's always... Oh, there we go. We got some blood coming out. The, the, the carnivores are eating that big herbivore. Oh, poor herbivore. We better make some more. We better bring some more in. Otherwise, those carnivores are just going to kill him. 
Yeah. I have no efficiency score though. I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to have, but it seems like you can just make kind of infinite or whatever. Like what happens if I uh 23 I have 2 out of 10. Yeah, they all just fell right on top of each other. And they're all just doing their thing. Yeah. More plants! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like... I mean, stuff's happening, I guess, but I just... Whew, I would be hard-pressed to tell you why. Um, I don't mind the little pixelated things here. Like, I mean, these are cool. They're fine. Um, I guess... Oh, I don't know. I guess I would prefer a little bit more shape or something. But, I mean, it is an indie game. I didn't pay anything for this. Um, so, you know, it's got that going for it. But, there is something to be said um, for, yeah. Like, like, I know that it had a bunch of stuff about, like, what the point of this was. But, whoa, I don't know. Still struggling here. Still struggling to figure it out. I mean, I can build another one of these soon. Right, now they've turned into like things that tear around and do stuff. World efficiency, world score. Yeah, I don't know what that's out of. But we're moving up! Our, our world is amazing, apparently. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, plant level, say I don't. Yeah. We'll just keep, we'll just keep making stuff until stuff appears. Because sometimes it, it makes plants and sometimes I guess it doesn't. So I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't ask me what's going on. I'm not to know. Apparently we're, we're on some sort of uh, global rating scale though. So we're connected to a server or something. So that happens. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on. Come on. I mean, I'm... Look, I'm trying to figure out if there's more to this, but... I'm honestly not... Seeing a lot more to it. You know, like... Yeah, you know, we've got these little... Things... I mean, do they get bigger? The... The, um, plants certainly seem to get bigger. Um... Is anything else getting bigger? That's just still the same carnivore that was there before, and he's quite big, I guess. Uh, no, they have gotten a bit bigger. I am curious to see if stuff gets much bigger, you know? Like, I mean, that's interesting, right? Oh, let's build another collector. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Particle effects. Gotta love it. So now we should get stuff faster. Uh-huh, let's build some more carnivores, because we only got two carnivores left, and the herbivores are going to be, uh, going crazy. Oh, we've got some plants growing over here. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, like, I'm not really feeling like there's a whole lot of skill here. I'm just kind of doing that as much as possible to get points. And my world score is going up, so I ha I mean, there's a day and night cycle, so I guess that's a thing. You know, I have to assume that, like, I am accomplishing stuff here. Have to assume. Uh-huh. There we go, drawing circles in the air. Nice. Yeah! So many animals! Yeah, and carnivores, and plants, and just like plants and animals everywhere. Whee! We have 149 plants now and 98, 97 herbivores. Not sure why they keep dying. Oh, we're on plants level two. Right. We'll just keep building stuff, it's fine. 
Oh, we're at enough to build, um... Oop. Better build another collector. And we'll build another one over here, because, I mean, that's how you get more stuff, right? Yep. Just keep building them. It's fine. And then, like... Insufficient our stuff just Our stuff's just gonna go up, like, crazy fast now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, and we're just waiting. And nighttime comes really quickly. Out of range. Build more radars. Uh, fine. Fine. There you go. Alright, how's all how's all of our plant life going? Pretty well? Pretty well. Looks like we need some more stuff. Yeah. Just keep going. I mean, I'm not sure about our world efficiency. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be like or whatever. But, but we're getting up there. Our world score is 82, so. And we haven't moved up the charts yet, so. Not sure why that is. We just, we'll just keep doing this. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I'm just gonna, we're gonna see what we can, see what we can do here. Cause I, I don't know. Is there is there a, thi a different thing that we could be doing here? Cause it doesn't seem like there is. Yeah, random system. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just keep building. Keep going. Keep going. Keep on keeping on. I mean, at least the game works. It's just there isn't. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of reason to do anything. Whoa, look at all those plants getting blown around by the wind. Where are they going? Where's everybody going? They're making plants over here. Look at that. Oh, I made a huge mess. Love it. And we've got like so many plants and so many herbivores. Uh huh. And we'll make some more carnivores. And our plants are level three. Yes. And that's important, I guess. For whatever reason it is important for. Uh-huh. We wanna we wanna keep this we wanna keep this going. Can't let the air ever get clear. We want it raining carnivores. Raining herbivores. Yes. Right. Okay, I have no idea how you get levels and stuff, but it said that it said that that was out, important. Out of range. Build more radars. Oh, what happened there? Ah, stop that! Stop it! Jeez. Uh, I'm I'm really making the frame rate lag now with all that stuff. Woo! All right. Oh, nice. It's all just blowing into the hillside. Right. We're getting our frame rate back. Starting to. Okay. Yep. Everyone's tearing around, doing their thing. All those plant spores are just going everywhere. Because that's, that's how it works. Oh, we moved up. I guess it, it ticks our score every once in a while. I, I, still, I still have no idea what the score is for, but... Uh, Currently, we have a thriving ecosystem. I mean, look at them. Look at those little buggers. Just like, meow, meow. Just running around, eating each other, hanging out. There actually aren't that many carnivores, so who knows what they're actually doing. Nothing important, that's for sure. Okay, so I'll admit that it's kind of fun doing this there's still not a whole lot of point. Now, the int the cool thing about that is that the game is free. So, I can't really complain about the price point. This is the exact this is exactly the sort of game that you would expect for free, you know? Like you wouldn't want to be spending a lot of money on this because you would be disappointed. Um but I think getting it for free is perfectly acceptable. Um all good. Uh huh.
And we just got carnivores and herbivores raining from the ceiling. Nice. So many plants. Our plants are getting to level four, man. How big are they now? Like, is it is that like measuring how... Oh, I see. They're getting pretty big. The plants, they are getting big. Uh-huh. And the, the... You just gotta make sure there's enough, like, carnivores and stuff for everybody. And, like, herbivores to eat and just... Yeah. Gotta make sure everything's all tickety-boo. There we go. Now we can see a bit better. Yeah, and they just kind of slide around. So now this little stretch of desert is getting very, very slowly populated. As you can see, as we get, as it becomes more populated, our FPS is dropping and dropping. Um, so that's annoying, but whatever. We will persist. Uh huh. Oh wow, the herbivores are definitely getting uh getting wrecked here. Uh huh. I'm just making so many herbivores here. It's like, oh my gosh. Look at that. That is a rain of herbivores. Yeah, herbivore rain at four frames per second. Woo! All right. Now, what is even happening here? Okay, so we've got a world efficiency of 8.46. So it's not that efficient. We are not efficient. Um, yeah, now we're down to four frames per second. This is a slideshow. We're playing a slideshow, people. I love it. Now, there is like a nice background sound effect here, but I mean, yeah. Ugh. Okay. Well, anyways, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stop there. Uh, thanks for watching. That is whatever this game was called, intelligent design. Um, although I actually I don't know I haven't been able to see any. Point the cursor at radar. Point the cursor at radar, except for that it's like. Uh, it's nighttime again. It's so annoying. Okay, so if we point the cursor at radar. Okay, now what happened? What does the force field do? Oh, we can block it off. Oh, but then we can't get in. <laughs> That's dumb. Can we go over the top? Or can we can we get in that way? Or is it radar over? Is it a box? Oh, no, we can get over the top. Right. Oh, we're back up to 18 FPS. Nice. Well, anyways, yeah, so that's Intelligent Design. It's free. Um, I'll put a link to it underneath this if you want to pick it up. Uh, you can donate to the developer. Up to you. Um, so, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you want to see me play next. I've got a couple more requests coming through. And someone's requested a full review of Overwatch, so ooh, I might, I might do that. I might do that. Uh, through the ground. Oh, yeah. What's down there? It's hell. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Class dismissed.